Hello, welcome back to the channel and welcome to my Lotus Esprit. If you're not already following the journey, please just tap this icon here to subscribe. So in this video, I'm looking at how you can get a tall driver into a Lotus Esprit. Something that I think Jeremy Clarkson said once is only possible if you break your legs in three places. Now I'm six foot six, which is a shade under two meters tall, and most of that is legs. My inside leg measurement is 36 inches, for example. So a lot of the problem for me is getting leg room. Now there are a number of things that can be done to help tall drivers get into Esprit's, and I'll take you through some of them now. If you look down here, this is my left knee. This is the steering wheel. And if I try and use the clutch, you will see that the wheel and my knee kind of want to be in the same place. Now that's not uh, an atypical thing from my standpoint. Also, the, my right knee is kind of in there too. I mean, that wouldn't be so bad because I wouldn't need to pump it up and down for the clutch. It's obviously just on the throttle pedal. In an ideal world, I'd like this steering wheel to be further towards me. So one of the things I'm going to have to do is to, to put a spacer in between the boss and the wheel. So the first thing I need to do to um, put the spacer in behind the wheel is to remove this crash pad. Now I did have a go at this earlier, the totally just sort of pry it off, but this one does seem to have been stuck on with some awful gunge. So I'm going to have to clean up these hex nuts or hex bolts before I can actually um, free that off because those are what's keeping them, keeping this the wheel attached to the boss and the boss is what's on, on here. So I shouldn't need to, re to remove this. I, I should be able to leave this alone and just free the wheel plate off of the end of the boss, fit the spacer in between, and then the, um, the wheel should be closer towards me. Now I've actually bought a, an adjustable uh, spacer. So, because I wasn't sure how much I needed, and that will adjust between sort of 40 mil and 70 mil. Um, I think 40 probably is enough, but if I'd bought a 40, it probably wouldn't have been enough and I would have ended up having to buy a different one. So the, the adjustable one kind of will make it easy for me to figure out where that needs to be. So I need to get on with cleaning up this wheel. So I've cleaned off some of the muck off of the, uh, off the bolt heads and found the hex that will open it and hopefully I'll be able to get them all, all six of them done and that will be the wheel freed from the boss. Okay so I've got all six of these uh, small bolts out of the wheel. Um, it's not let go yet but I'm hoping it won't take much, there we go, to just take it off. That's brilliant. So I'll clean that up a little bit. I'll clean up the wheel a bit more in the in the uh, garage, and then I'll get to fitting the spacer. So here we go. Here's the uh, here's the steering boss, and here is the adjustable spacer. Now I think that will just fit on there, um, and I've got some screws to to screw that into the boss, and then. The wheel itself will just screw into this, into these holes. Now, these grub screws here then uh, free up the, the kind of the shaft of the of the spacer so that it can come in and out. Um, so what I'll do, I'll uh, I'll just free those up. I'll attach I'll attach that to the to the boss. I'll free those up and then see where I want it and before I put the wheel on and then secure it all up. So we've got the main shaft of the spacer uh, fitted to the boss. I've just done these up finger tight, I'm going to tighten these up in a second and then uh, I'll be able to fit the other part of it to the wheel which will then uh, screw onto here and uh, hopefully we'll get it all nice and lined up and we'll be good to go in another five minutes. So as is typical when you're doing a job like this you don't have exactly the right kind of things to do so the, um, the screws that came with it um, have been fine for attaching the uh, spacer to the boss these screws here that uh, previously held the wheel onto the boss don't go into here. These these holes on this um, on this spacer aren't threaded, so I guess I'm going to need some uh, 
nuts and bolts to um, secure behind them to uh, to fit the fit the wheel. So yeah, the, the holes line up. I can, I can you know there's a, there's a particular way around where the holes will line up, um, but that um, that doesn't secure into here because none of those holes are threaded. So there we go. I'll be back when I've got some nuts. So after an abortive attempt of fitting this the wrong way, or trying to fit it the wrong way, um, it didn't come with any instructions, this collar, which I thought had gone, would go behind the wheel, actually seems to fit better onto here because it's, it's not threaded. So there was no way of getting the steering wheel to actually attach to this. Uh, but the boss, the holes in the boss are threaded, so if I can, I can just put these nuts through into the boss, so that's all nice and secure. Um, and then the the rest of it, the main shaft bit, will screw in like that. And you know, obviously, I can screw it in and out depending on on where I want it. And then, uh, then the wheel will just sit onto there. And those holes are threaded, so I can just use the same um, same bolts that came out of the wheel to to fit it onto there. So that's what I'm going to do. Hopefully it'll all work out. Um, sometimes it takes a couple of goes to, <laughs> to work out what, what you have to do. So that seems to have worked out a bit better. Um, I've got two of, the, two of the final screws in and put the other ones in in a second. And then I'll be able to fit, um, fit that back on. And then hopefully it will at least line up and be a flat wheel. If not, there's a bit of... Um, I can do some adjustment and just be fiddling around with how you have that um, the, the sort of collar set around the boss. There's, a, there's enough variations, it's just a case of trying them, but I think that's about as good as I'll get it for now. Um, so just going to finish that off and hopefully jobs are good. So spit that back on there. I'll get some glue onto it, to get some glue or something onto it afterwards. Um, it may, there may be some clips that I can get for that. Um, but now I need to see whether I can actually get behind the wheel. Well, I don't know if you can see, but um, compared to before, that makes a massive difference um, in terms of being able to move my leg up and down to change gear without fouling the wheel. So, yep, that's brilliant. And also it's given me a bit more room on this side. Um, so, all good. Now, if you've got a problem with headroom because you're longer in the body, then a couple of things can be done. One of them is actually if you have already have a sunroof fitted. Now, a lot of people don't like having sunroofs fitted in Lotus Esprits. They think it's not how it should have been. Certainly on the earlier Esprits, there, was, there wasn't a factory option for a sunroof. But that indeed does create a bit, bit of extra headroom. The other thing you can do is to take the seat out and remove the seat rails completely and just bolt the seat directly to the floor. That gives you uh, an extra inch or two of headroom. Now, of course, there's another thing that tall men have that sometimes gets in the way of driving. Uh, something else that's big and that's of course their feet. So the pedal box in the Lotus Esprit is quite small and the pedals quite close together so if you've got big feet or big shoes they can sometimes get in the way of each other and you end up hitting the wrong pedal. So the way to deal with that is either you can crank the pedals slightly uh, to make more room between them or you could wear different shoes. So if you wear shoes a bit like this kind of driving shoes that can really help make sure you get the right pedal each time. So now I've got more room to move my legs, I think it's about time I went for a drive. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.